Hello, welcome to Working Dragon Mystic, where we discuss real, metaphysical, and occult knowledge so that you can manifest real and tangible results in your life. This week, we're going to continue our discussion on the Goetic Spirits with the fifth spirit of the Goetia, Marvis, so stay tuned. Okay, so this week we are going to continue our series with the Goetia, and we're going to continue with the fifth spirit in the Goetia, Marvis. Um, this is actually one I've got a lot of questions about. I didn't realize there was so much um, interest in this particular spirit, so I'm actually glad to get to this spirit. Now, first off, um, in his traditional lore, we're just going to go ahead and jump right into this. Um, often, Marvis is said to appear as a lion first when he is evoked, but will take on a humanoid shape when asked. Um, in my experience with him, he does change his human shape a lot. He never really has one that he settled on as far as it's just this is what he looks like in a humanoid shape, per se. He is very versatile. He likes to change that. And that makes sense with some of the things I've heard from different magicians. This is something that um, is talked about a lot. Um, he does occasionally show up as a hooded or robed or cloaked um, figure, which um, obscures his features. So, again, this kind of matches because it seems like as far as a specified feature or trait, Marvis doesn't really seem to have those. Or, I should say, he chooses not to have those. Um, which is understandable. I mean, options are great. Variety is the spice of life, so that does make sense. Now, um, has he ever appeared to me as a lion? He has approached me as a lion, but before he actually stopped walking toward me during the evocation, he went ahead and took on the form of a humanoid entity. I did not have to request it. Now, that said, I do plenty of magicians that I, I talk to and work with on occasion. They have seen him appear as a lion. Sometimes he remains as a lion and speaks with them. Um, and sometimes um, he will take the shape of the humanoid. And he's never refused if they've asked one way or the other. Most magicians I know aren't put off by talking to him if he shows up as a lion. So there's no issues there. Now, the quick rundown on information for Marbus. Um, his rank within the Goetia is president. He is one of the president um, level spirits. The metal associated with Marvis is Mercury. Now here we go. This is why I keep saying having the metal on hand is not necessary. People, Mercury is toxic. It is poisonous. This stuff is not safe. I would not recommend working with Mercury. Um, I have evoked Marvis many, many times very successfully and never have I had to collect mercury to do so. I have found that gray or darker um, metallic coloring metals will work just fine if I need a metal. Um, I've actually used stainless steel on occasions. Um, I've used iron. Um, whatever you can. I've even painted his sigil on aluminum foil before. It worked just fine. More often than not, I'll be honest with you, I just use a piece of paper and a sharpie like I do with most every spirit. So don't worry about this mercury trait. Um, a lot of people get really hung up on that metal, and this is why I keep saying they're not necessary. That has been proven by more than magicians than myself, and better magicians than myself, if you ask my opinion. Um, the planet associated with Marbus is mercury. No surprise there, right? Um, the color associated with Marbus was orange. Um, this I find a little off-putting. I guess I can kind of see it, but the lion colors tend to make me think more golden and yellows, less oranges. But I do understand the orange as well. He is a very active kind of spirit. But he also deals a lot with um, hidden stuff. So, I don't know. There's something about the color. Just The colors never set well with me, but that is what is listed for him um, when I start looking around. It's the most common one, so... We'll go with it. Um, his element is air. Again, make, this makes sense. He is a very intellectual style spirit, so air does make sense. And it also has that association with Mercury as well. 
So, um, before we get started talking about what you can do and how you can work with Marvis and get him helping you in your life, let's go ahead and get his sigil up here on the screen. There you go. Um, pretty simple sigil for this one. All right, now the areas Marvis can help in. Um, he can help you in uncovering secrets. So if you feel someone's keeping a secret from you or you're seeking a particular secret um, or you think there's some form of subterfuge taking place at work, anything like that, anything that might be hidden or kept secret deliberately, he can help you uncover very easily. Now to that, he can also help you seek out and find secrets as well. Uh, Marvis is also really great at causing illness in another person and of course another one of his traits would be healing illness in yourself or another person. So if you wanted to you could utilize this in a baneful magic way obviously. Um, though I think the, on, the better use of this is in the healing aspect of it. Marvis is a great entity to have on hand during healing and everything. I know a lot of magicians in 2020 leaned on Marvis um, to look after their friends and their family. Marvis was a very busy entity at that time, and that makes sense. But, that said, perhaps for the modern practitioner, other than health, other than health, the one I think a lot of people turn to Marvis for is mechanical arts. Now, a lot of people ask, Drake, what is a mechanical art? And I'll be honest, I didn't understand it either. I was thinking, what are we talking, welding? What, what, what is, what's a mechanical art? Robotics, maybe? And um, no, it is actually anything to do with machinery. So, yes, it could be robotics. It can also be a car mechanic. It can also be computers. It can be programming. It can be wiring. Any of the modern technological fields um, gets the term arts because the way all these sciences and knowledges were listed way back when um, they were viewed as an art form so yes if you are having car trouble and you're trying to learn how to fix your car Marvis can help you find the information you need and find the understanding you need to help you fix your car it can also help you inspire your mechanic to get it fixed quicker and cheaper um, which is very handy these days um, and he can help you with um, computer problems, problems around the house, whether it just be routine maintenance on the home, um, the plumbing, anything maintenance-wise, he's really good at helping you gain an understanding on. Now, this is actually the place I lean heaviest on Marvis, and I do like to work with him. You all know computers hate me, so I do contact Marvis a lot when it comes to how to troubleshoot issues with my computer. And he has been very, very good at making sure I get problems fixed even last minute um, while I'm setting up a live stream or getting ready to film videos or I'm just in a time crunch. He's been magnificent. He also does help me with a lot of the car problems. I was taught to work on older, older cars with a lot more room under the hood. And I can generally do maintenance on those just fine. These newer ones, way outside my wheelhouse. So Marvis helps me um, work on any of the things that I'm trying to figure out on these newer cars without screwing it up um, and taking a look at it before I have to take it to a mechanic or back to the dealer to get looked at. Um, so he is very handy there. Um, I will say this though, make sure you read your warranty and see what you can and cannot touch on the car before it voids your warranty. Um, that is one thing. If your warranty says you don't touch it before, you know, they have to look at it before anyone touches it, including you. Just skip that, take it straight to them, make them fix it. That's what the warranty is there for. Never void your warranty, just in case. Um, but yeah, he is very, very helpful in those mechanical arts. And that is one of the things I actually go to him for. In fact, uh, Marvis is actually the one that helped me set up many of the electronic devices through the house. My wife originally got some of the um, little Amazon devices that are put through the house and whatnot um, to try those out and she wasn't home when we needed to set up the others so Marvis helped me get the other ones set up thank you for that Marvis and of course everyone always wants to know the un of these spirits well following up on these video of uns that we recently did um, we are going to keep giving the uns out for those who want to use them um, 
So Marvis's un, I'll make sure it's up here on the screen so you can read it. Don't have to just rely on my pronunciation of it. I'll do the best I can. Rinich Tasa Umbraka Biasa Inkar Marvis. Rinich Tasa Umbraka Biasa Inkar Marvis. There you go. Um, now again, these uns can be used in meditations. They can be used as an incantation during evocation. Um, they can be used during invocation um, to help attune and commune with the spirit. Um, or they can just be used as a basic um, kind of chant to help channel the powers or abilities and knowledge of these spirits. Um, an example is if you're trying to figure out what's wrong with your car and you're just out of ideals, you could essentially enchant this to try and reach out to Marvis just for some quick inspiration without doing a full evocation that he might point you to like, hey, have you checked that over there? That kind of thing. Um, but they can be very useful. Okay, so obviously most people always ask me at the end of these, what is your personal experience with these entities? And honestly, this video kind of filled in my personal experience a little as we went through this. Um, I work with this entity a lot in car repair, honestly. We've already talked about that. And home repair. Um, he has helped me learn to fix a lot of different things, um, solve certain problems around the house. I think the funniest one he helped me with, honestly. Um, because I do think mechanical is more machinery based. But um, when we moved into this, the place we currently are, um, there were just some stains around one of the showers that I, I honestly felt they could be removed. I just, and everything I tried did not work. Um, and I thought I was going to have to basically, um, redo the caulking down on the, um, shower stall because of that. I actually contacted Marvis about a different issue concerning my car but he was aware of the other issue and he actually pointed me in the direction of the information I needed to fix it. And the information he pointed me to was so freaking easy. I don't know how many hours I've spent scrubbing and trying to figure out how to clean that. Where he pointed me, I had it cleaned little to no effort that day. It was freaking amazing. So um, yeah, he can actually help you with cleaning as well. Apparently cleaning is one of those mechanical concepts when it comes to him, at least in some small manner. Um, I haven't gone to him more about cleaning. I'm going to actually have to explore that um, more and see how deep that one goes into those mechanical arts concepts. But that one honestly to this day holds up as one of the funnier things because he's the one that he's like, hey, you know, you've been working on this. I can actually help. And he did. And that was amazing. That's one of the reasons I love making friendships with these entities. Because if you are dealing with something and you don't even think to ask them about it, when you are talking with them, a lot of times they will offer up the advice and help needed anyway. Now, that said, I do often rely on Marvis's talent for finding that which is hidden and relaying that information back to me. Um, there's been many times in my life where I've had to deal with different people that, well, let's be honest, you, you just don't trust them. Um, you suspect them of something. And Marvis has always been a really good source of information and uncovering information and making sure my interests, my family, and my friends were covered. Um, he's always good at bringing that hidden information to the front and exposing people for who they are. Um, there are times in my life in the past where I wish I had um, sought out Marvis's assistance, but I did not. And you know, hindsight's twenty twenty. So these days, um, over the last few years especially, I try to cover my bases as much as possible. And if I get that gut feeling something up might be there, I'll ask Marvis about it, send him out there to check on it, and touch base with him later to see just how right I am or if I can just release my worries. More often than not, to be honest, he tells me nothing to worry about, and he's right, nothing ever comes of it. Um, but there are times when he's brought the information back and he told me what they were up to and instead of just playing my hand I made a mental note of that continued doing what I was doing but I had that knowledge of what was happening and so far every time at one point or another the person has tipped their hand 
and proved Marvis absolutely right. But since I had the knowledge ahead of time, I had um, guarded myself. I made sure I made decisions with that knowledge so it never affected me, um, which is a very, very helpful thing in life to be sure. And yeah, so between that and honestly auto repair and house repair, those are the things I work with Marvis the most with. Um, and I do love learning, so having someone who can help teach me these skill sets to fix things around the house, I value it. Um, because when I do retire, I plan to buy a house. Um, most of the time right now, there's a maintenance guy I can call when things get weird. But when I, once I do buy my own house, and many of you who probably own your own house right now, um, you are the maintenance guy. You got to fix everything, or you got to call somebody and pay them extra to do it. And there's just some things you can't prepare for. There really are not. I mean, my one of the weirdest things we've had. We actually had a light in the kitchen start leaking water. Um, go figure. Figure that one out. So we essentially had to cut the power in the house, call maintenance, and get them up here asap. Um, made for an interesting day. Anyways. This is actually a very excellent spirit to reach out to, okay? In all seriousness, one of the things I love about Marvis is how practical he is to the modern person with that mechanical aspect. So I do encourage you to reach out to Marvis, try and get in touch with him, get to know him, and take the time to learn from him, get him to help you with some of your problems. Um, he may point you to solutions more than just teaching his skills sometimes, but that's fine. It's all about getting those solutions to what you need at the time, okay? Also, if you be sure to like subscribe and share this video um, if you know anyone who would be interested in it or share it on your social media so your friends can find it it helps us to get more information out to all the seekers who are seeking this information um, also drop us a comment below have you worked with Marvis if so what are some of the things he's helped you with be sure to join us Friday and Sunday 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time where we do live streams and I try to answer as many questions I can during those live streams and we try to have a little fun in the process. Thank you everyone for watching. Until next time, I'm Drake. This has been Working Dragon Mystic. Take it easy.